again do corona dance so hello everyone and welcome back to my channel myself dr surbhi sahani the founder and the host of the channel dr surbhi sahani dental series and medical videos today we are going to talk about the elis classification with the mnemonic that is elis don't play news after rain do corona dance so let's understand this in detail but before that if you are new on my channel do subscribe my channel by pressing the button subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon the importance of bell icon is that you can have the notification of my upcoming videos in with the elis and the way classification which is given in the year 1970 the class 1 is when it involving only the enamel so e for enamel and e for elis this is the mnemonic and the classification i am going to tell side by side so please make sure you will rewind the video and understand it again and again if you not understand in one go so begin with the class 1 that is the fracture which is extend or up to the enamel so e for enamel and e for elis class 2 is when the fracture extend up to the dentine so d for dentine and d for don't elis don't third class is when the fracture extend up to the dentine and also do the pulp exposure then p for pulp and p for play Elis don't play. Fourth one is it will make the tooth non-vital and N for non-vital and N for news. Elis don't play news. Fifth one is A for avulsion tooth or avulsion tooth. A for avulsion and A for after. Class six include root fracture. That means fracture. that involve the root fracture with or without crown fracture so r for root fracture and r for rain elis don't play news after rain d e for displacement that is the class 7th and d for do 8 involves crown and masses that means the fracture involving crown and masses so c for crown and masses and c for corona that means elis don't play news after rain do corona now the last type of elis is class 9 which involve the fracture in deciduous tooth so d for deciduous and d for dance so elis don't play news after rain do corona dance so this is the mnemonic and in this way you can learn this classification of elis and the way classification a very important question for the periodontic subject which you read in final year of dentistry it is also important to diagnose the case of fracture when a patient is having a fracture of the tooth and he is sitting on your dental chair so to make the diagnosis you have to write which type of elis fracture is present in the patient so that's all about the today's video hope you like it very well and if you like it press the like button and you can also comment down the videos which you want on my channel if you have any query you can drop me the mail which is shown on your screen you can also follow me on my instagram with my instagram id shown on your screen Thank you for watching